Good afternoon, Warriors. Career professional development would like to welcome you to another Employer Spotlight event featuring new student programs. They will be speaking to you about opportunities that they can provide for to you and the services that they provide to the students and the community. How are you guys doing today? Pretty well. I'm you doing. Doing. Excellent, excellent. Well, you can get started whenever you whenever you're ready. Okay. Thank you. So, hello again. My name is Carla Perez. I am the new student programs coordinator, and um, I was on a little bit earlier with student six. Uh, I'm sorry, student civic engagement, um, because I fall under the um, um, under that umbrella. My direct supervisor is Garrett Smith. Um, as a new student programs coordinator, my I kind of have three specific job duties that I do. One is um, I am in charge of the Blue Code Ambassadors, which Hannah is one of uh, a Blue Codes. We also have Amanda and Krishan on, on audio. Um, so that's just one part. I'm also in charge of orientation, orientation holds, um, and that how we're going to revamp that. Um, currently, it's an online pro uh, program, but hopefully we'll be moving towards a different platform. So more to come on that. And then third, I also um, handle all the sexual assault prevention training that gets uploaded to um, uh, our system every semester, every long semester. And then once completed, um, if it does, the holds don't fall off, then I'm in charge of taking those off. So um, as far as employment, um, I am in, I employ five. At this point, we have five Blue Code Ambassadors. And what the Blue Code Ambassadors do, they represent the university in all forms and all capacities. So uh, sometimes we're asked to be part of um, programs with, <laughs> thank you, Jessica, with the president's office. So if we have, you know, like a VIP person coming into town, then the Blue Coast Ambassadors will normally show them around campus. Um, they also uh, do uh, tours for prospective students. Um, we try to get those about three to four times a week. Um, they also do P20 presentations. With, sorry about that. What a P20 presentation is, is um, we go to local high schools and early college high school um, programs and just basically tell the students what it means to be a blue uh, a college student. Not so much Texas A&M. We advocate for all university. Um, just, you know, for them to have that 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 face to face uh, kind of put faces to to programs. Uh, we also do volunteer work within the community. That's something that we were starting to do heavily this spring. Unfortunately, you know, COVID hit. Um, and we also just help around the university with different programming. So if uh, like Student Success had a special programming for um, uh, African American Month um, and they had some speakers come in, we will host, you know, we'll be part of that. Um, our department of avionics was going to or aviation i'm sorry was going to have some representatives coming in so we would host them show them around and all that so we, we're going to do a little bit of everything but as far as student employment our biggest um the hiring sector is is for the blue coats and um we are very when, when we ask for someone to apply to be a blue coat we want them to have school spirit, we want them to have integrity, and we want them to be just an overall great representation of what Texas A&M Central Texas is. So the current uh, Blue Code Ambassadors I have, I have Hannah Baratang, um, uh, well, Creshawn Williams, um, Amanda Daniels, Kirsten Martinez, and Savannah Chester. They each are like the cream of the crop, I can say, of, of different programs and also of, of what your average college student is. They all have amazing work ethics, intelligent. So they 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 just show the good things that university has. Um, they all have their own flair, you know. Um, they're not two of them are not the same. So that's kind of what we look for when we look for for another blue coat ambassador. Um, we also would like for you to have you know pretty good GPA, so three point and above if you're undergrad, um, and you have to be enrolled in six credit hours, so two classes minimum if you're undergrad and um, at least one if you're a graduate student because we also um, accept graduate student applications um oh also shout out to the blue coats because 
especially since y'all are so young, you guys are amazing at creating social media content. So since COVID has hit, we haven't really been able to be out there in the community or in the university um, kind of showcasing what we do. So everything's done through Instagram, Facebook, and a YouTube channel, which these guys are fantastic at handling and doing videos. They do cooking videos. They do reading for children videos. They do fitness videos, wellness, all kinds of things. So I've talked enough. I'm going to pass it on to you guys. So go ahead. <laughs> like like us? Yeah. So why do you like being a blue coat and what drew you to being a blue coat? Um, well, especially like it's still the same as when I had my interview to become a blue coat. It was um, definitely in a big part. It was a social aspect of it because I felt like um, I knew that I was I knew a lot of people around campus, but I knew there was more I could be doing to get people involved. Um, and also as kind of a way to bring like student organizations more together and encourage people to be social on campus because as a lot of people say a lot of the time with our campus people will come and then they'll go home after class or um not really like socialize or have any groups or anything like that so in order to highlight um like students like working together and making friends and i think that's cool that we do that <laughs> Yep, you guys are pretty good at doing that. You guys attract crowds wherever you go. Um, Jessica wanted to know, what advice would you have for the next generation of blue coats? Um, have fun. That's like the best part of being a blue coat is having fun. Um, Cause all of us blue coats, we're all friends. We all like goof around. We have a lot of laughs every single time we work together. Um, and put your own flair into the job. It's like what you said, like none of us are exactly the same. So I feel like we all bring different things to the table and it makes us more like cohesive. So yeah, make friends with your coworkers, make friends with fellow students. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna um, add to that. Um, I think exactly what Hannah said. Also, um, don't be afraid to um, uh, share your ideas. Um, with Carla, um, with the other blue coats, um, because it's never a bad idea. One, two, it's probably a really good idea, the one that you have, you know? So, um, and that's really, that's really what I feel like a big thing that drives um, our programming is, is our um, own ideas. Um, so yeah, don't be, don't be afraid to uh, get out there and, ex uh, share your ideas yeah it's definitely given us a lot of creative freedom that's what i think because we all well carla was like you guys pick your programming and then we did that i think that's really awesome that we just got to like pick what we could do to help with programming and stuff like that <laughs> how about you ambassador williams what are your words of wisdom uh, I'd say, uh, I mean, just really just live life, you know, just when you come to a job, you know, like, don't even think it as a job. Like, I just, I mean, I just go in the office. It's, uh, you know, I just, I just do my thing. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's really cool, you know, making content. Um, just, just don't like, just don't be boring, I guess, like, because like, nobody, like, I'm be honest, like, I'm not, like, nobody wants to like, like this isn't like a, a a charter school or like a boarding school or anything like that. Like it's a, I mean it's a college, you know. It's not, you know, it's not like a like a prison or anything. So I mean, like just you just gotta let loose, you know. Like, uh, you know, like have fun. Like Hannah was saying, like we're all friends, we all do and stuff like that. Uh, you know, so just like have fun, you know. Just don't, you know, yeah. But that's all I got. Thank you. Well, I mean, we, we have a lot of fun, but I love the fact that you guys know when to go professional and when to have that demeanor about yourselves. Uh, Kushan's like the perfect example. You know, he comes in there with his suits and everything. And then when we do our, inter our, our um, tours, you know, you guys always look really sharp and professional. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, as far as like the application process, uh, 
can one of you share, or all of you actually, can you share what your, this is Jessica's question. Can you share with us what your process was to prepare your application and get ready for your interview? Uh, I guess I'll go first. So um, I, I contacted Career and Professional Development to help me make my resume because I hadn't made one before. Um, and I wanted to polish it up so I could get the job. Um, so I contacted them and I had an appointment with Patrick um, and he helped me make my resume. And then I submitted the resume on Handshake along with my application. It was actually really simple. And then they contacted me so I could have an interview. That's it. Submitted through uh, Handshake, which is powered mm -hmm which is found in uh, Canvas. And yeah. our friends at CPD are very good at that. So they can help us out with that. How about you, Krishan? Uh, <clears throat> I remember, uh, you know, I uh, put an application, uh, resume, uh, stuff like that. And, you know, I got the call and, you know, I just went in the interview. Uh, I mean, I guess I did pretty good. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, it was, you know, it was a pretty, pretty smooth process, you know. Uh, you know, it, it was just, it was just, a, you know, like I didn't really, I just, I just kind of did my thing, you know, and uh, that's kind of got here. How about you, Amanda? <laughs> so, um, I, so I also, I didn't like have a. Um, I guess like a solid appointment with CPD, um, but I did. I had my resume ready, and I did go to the office, and I asked um, the Office of Student Civic Engagement, asked if I if someone could review my resume, and um, a very nice lady was able to review my resume right there, like in the in the office, um, and I also got to speak with a. Um, uh, at the time, a blue coat ambassador, and he told me what to expect, um, you know, in the interview and, and of the job. And um, like Krishan and Hannah, I applied on Handshake as well. Um, the interview, the like, all of it applying for the job and the interview. You cutting out on us, honey? <laughs> One thing um, I'm, I'm going to jump in, I forgot to mention, is as a Blue Code ambassador, if you're working a long semester, you know, you get paid $8 an hour, plus you get a scholarship. So it's a $750 scholarship that you receive, you know, for being part of the team. So that's that, that's pretty nice incentive. <laughs> um, and you also get, you know, polos, blue coats, uh, those those essentials. So you can provide the tours. Um, and then Coffee with the Blue Coats, that's like our biggest event that we host on campus. Normally it's on Tuesdays, but now that we've shifted over to virtual, we still have Coffee with the Blue Coats on Tuesday at 10 o'clock in the morning. And Hannah, you want to tell them how you can access that? Um, so our Coffee with the Blue Coats, we have the links on our Facebook. And in addition, I'm sure you could email any of us for the link as well. Mm -hmm. You can also find it on Engage and on Warrior in the Clouds, or in the Cloud single. Um, so we post it on all of that on and most of our social media. And do you want to talk about Discord? Ooh, okay. So this is very, very new. Um, I made a Discord for the Blue Coats, and I wanted it to be a space where we can talk with students, faculty, staff about anything. So if anyone's interested in joining and um, talking with us, the link is on our Facebook and our Instagram. Um, and also, there's multiple channels. There's like a channel where you can share pet pictures. There's a channel where you can talk about anything. There's a channel where you can share self-promotion. 
And then there will be other channels where we share our own videos and our own programming so that it's more easily accessible. So what's your favorite part of being a Blue Code Crush, Han? It's real. I mean, it's uh, it, it's <clears throat> it's not like a like an ordinary job, you know. Like it's not, I like guess, not like we just like go in the office and like, you know, we get in front of a computer. Like we're actually like doing stuff, and you know, we're actually doing stuff for a college. You know, we're not just like uh, sitting in the office. Like it's a very social job, and that's how I like you know going around and talking to people and giving people tours and, and letting them know that. Uh, you know we exist and that this is a, a, a great school to go to and uh i mean just like the the social environment of the office and going out and doing p20s and uh the blazers i do like the blazers. <laughs> i like that pretty, sharp. <laughs> That's pretty uh pretty nice um <laughs> like that and just you know just like it's, it's kind of cool you know like you, know, you see your face on the the posters and and uh you know coffee with the blue coats and and yeah, like it's never like I never feel like I'm just going to work. Like I feel like I get to go. Like I don't even feel like it's a it's a a job. It's just something that I get to do. You know? So yeah, I, I like that that part of it. Okay. Awesome, awesome. Thank you for sharing that. Um, I don't know if Amanda, Amanda, are you still on? Yes. Can y'all hear me? Yes, ma'am. Hey, you want to talk about tours? So uh, tours, they're so fun, and um, it's really one of the larger aspects of being a blue coat. Um, so the process, I'll talk a little bit on that. Um, students will, or prospective students, will um, request a tour. We get their information. We contact them and set up a date and time um, that they uh, can come get a tour of the schools and of the school and so we uh, we show them the entire campus we talk to them about each office um, and we kind of um, I guess gear it towards whatever they are interested in studying um, and usually with you know us all five of us being different um, background majors mm -hmm. uh, we usually try to get similar students, sim similar majors with each of our majors, if that makes sense. I don't know if I, <laughs> I said that <laughs> right, but um, just to give them a more, I guess, uh, like a, like more personal and like authentic mm -hmm. experience. And so they know what to expect for that um, specific major. Um, so yeah, we, we tour the whole campus, show them, you know, tell them what, what all the campus has to offer, um, what, you know, the student can uh, join, you know, different organizations that we have on campus. Um, and we end um, usually at the, um, the uh, crap, what is it, what is it called? The um, admissions office. Sorry, I had a brain fart just now. <laughs> yes, and uh, <laughs> and they're super, they're super good in explaining um, the whole admission process, what they have to do, um, and yeah, most of the times uh, they can get their um, application fee waived. Um, and yeah, I think I think that's a lot of what the. cut out again <laughs> either one of you want to pick up on on the last part of that i would but i don't really know where she was going <laughs> no she said that at the end that end up in missions and then kind of tail um you know each is individual tour is I guess specifically made for that person. It's not like a blanket tour that you would give, mm -hmm. you know, like bigger universities kind of do like these huge, okay, this is kind of a general tour. I like how you guys have taken that and personalized it. We definitely do. And I remember there was this um, one group that was only touring for like online classes and they mainly wanted to see specific things. So I cut out all the parts that they weren't really gonna care about. 
I would like ask people like, what are you interested in as you're here? Are you interested in this? Are you interested in this? So I don't waste their time. Mm -hmm. And then I like um, make the, the tour a lot more efficient for their wants and desires. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Krishan. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah, I mean, I like to, I like to make it more personalized because I mean, like, it's not like we're not like at a museum, you know, like we're actually, you know, like, so like I, I like, I might like, might go to the balconies and just sit down and just talk and, you know, just do stuff so they can like really get a feel, for, like what the university is like because like, I mean, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, a good spots that I know that I like to like just sit out and chill at the university and. You know, sometimes like we'll run into people and, you know, like, you know, and, and other students and, you know, they can talk to those guys and, you know, really, you know, get an understanding of uh, what is going to be like coming here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's a pretty cool experience and uh, really rewarding. And so, yeah. It's a very organic experience, I think. And the as, as being the old supervisor, I've gotten some feedback on it. And what a lot of the times the folks tell me is that because you guys have taken time to, to give it that little extra flair, you know, um, they feel already that they're making friends within the, the university. So um, one lady in particular, I remember she said that she toured her and her daughter. And next day they went to tour. It was another big college campus. So her daughter said, Mom, you know, I, I appreciate that you want me to go to a big, bigger school, but I feel that at this university, I can make friends and I can speak to professors and because of the size. And then I feel like I already made a friend with that person who, who gave the tour. So, you know, without just singling one of you out, because you all are amazing, um, you guys give that type of experience and I appreciate that. So thank you for that. Um, Jess wants to know about the student uh, app fee waived. So that happens, Jessica, <clears throat> normally during preview day. If the blue coats will give like a huge group tour, then um, those folks that sign up for that can have their applications fee waived. Also, special circumstances, we when we do take them to advice, or I'm sorry, admissions, and um, depending on the circumstances, they can also speak to Josh or um, Allie and have that fee waived. So these guys make that kind of stuff happen all the time, so. You guys have any other comments? Mm, I feel like we've given a, given a pretty overall impression of what it is to be a blue coat. Are there any questions? Uh, Amanda said being a blue coat is very rewarding. Thank you, Amanda. <laughs> And, and the thing I love about the Blue Coats too is that you guys don't just participate in Blue Coats, you also participate in student government. And um, I, I know Hannah, you were the president of your organization of, um, what was it? Uh, Science Club, right? And then I know um, Krishan is part of Sociology Club, Criminal Justice, and I don't know, you're part of everything. <laughs> yeah. And of course, Amanda is our vice president, so. <laughs> So Carla, do you know about what time frame you'll be accepting applications? So we always have um, our position open on Handshake because we like to take applications, you know, and like I said, we like to screen folks so they can have, um, so it can be that perfect fit for us because of all the different personalities and all the different benefits of having, well, because we it, it, historically Blue Coast used to be kind of handled by older folks and because the school itself is shifting to like a younger um demographic then we want to go across the board so you know don't be afraid to apply for blue coats it doesn't matter whether you're returning student first time student however you you know whatever point you find yourself in so awesome so you guys have any last thoughts about the application process or things that you guys are doing? Any programming you want to talk about really quickly? Aside from Coffee with the Blue Coats? Go ahead, Hannah. No? <laughs> Check out the Blue Coats YouTube channel, y'all. 
<laughs> yes, our YouTube channel. That is probably where all our content is housed. Well, most of our content is housed. Um, we have over 30 some videos. We, If you have children, we have Blue Coats reading books to children. <laughs> we have cooking videos. We have um, fitness videos, wellness. What else? Pet videos. Yes, um, Savannah, she's our pet lover, so she creates content with uh, her her puppies and kitties and everything is pretty neat. So, and then plus all our coffee with the Blue Coats, you can go back and watch. Well, thank you all so much for joining us today. We love any Motivation time. Monday, sorry. <laughs> and what would you say? Motivation Monday, Amanda just chat put up there. That's that's pretty fun too. Sorry. <laughs> You're fine. We, we thank you all for joining us. Anytime we get the opportunity to hang out with the Blue Coats, we are, it's a good day for CPD. So thank you all for joining us and we appreciate y'all's time and y'all have a good day.